some opening exercises. As with everything on the course, optional. Do them if you like the sound of it. Do it if you think you'll learn. Um, I've used these on uh, uh, the Embody Facilitator course for years. You may hear mention of that, by the way. So FEC was originally part of the Embody Facilitator course. We're not doing EFC in person this year, but we are doing the sort of big, expanded, new, improved FEC. Uh, so right at the beginning of courses, I've often done these exercises, and they can be, they can be so helpful. Uh, we, we think we know what a body is, right? We say, well, a body, and, you know, in language, my body. Even that, though, you can go, what's that about? My body? Who's the me? Separate from that. It's a very sort of Cartesian perspective. Anyway, so at the beginning of course, there's really nice things to do. One is, is just that, is start to notice your language around the body, yeah? Like, okay, my body, what does that mean? Who's, how's that separate, yeah? You can start noticing some of the phrases people use about the body. You know, when you hear someone say, he's an upright guy, a stand-up guy, or I don't know, so oh, she's got no backbone, or he's wishy-washy. Like, what are some of those phraseologies we use, yeah? E even some that is so, like, to face something, Right? <laughs> like I turned away from him. It's built into our language, the body. So have a think about that. Also, like look at your cultural background around the body. Like notice how people are talking about the body. Yeah, noticing if it's a bit funny or a bit shameful, for example. That's that's quite common that you know the sort of body is reduced to sort of toilet humour or sex references. And it's like, yeah, start to notice that in daily life. Like when do people talk about their bodies? Is it only when they're stressed or in pain or is it much more like pleasure? You know, the body's for pleasure. Those kind of narratives that are there that if we start listening to in our families, friends, cultures, can reveal a lot. So this video is more, it's not, it's more about sort of paying attention, yeah? A bit more deeply to this area that's around us and becomes kind of invisible, it's taken for granted. Uh, if you want to do a couple of concrete exercise, try this, try this, uh, repeat, if it's written or out loud, I wouldn't do it in your head. My body is. Yeah, or the body is. Try both of those and, and see what comes up. Often people say things that quite surprise them or they realise they're carrying sort of preconceptions, misconceptions, prejudices around the body, even if on sort of logically on one level they, they, they're you know, into the whole embodiment thing, we'll explain what that is shortly. Uh, it's interesting to know your starting point. Just be really honest with yourself. You don't have to show it to anyone. Yeah. Last opening exercise, uh, if you want to do it, is to draw your body. So not to draw it physically, there's no points for sort of accuracy or artistic merit here. And again, you don't have to show it to anyone. Draw your, how your body feels. So embodiment's about the subjective study of the body. Yeah. So, you know, I could just have my body feels today, right? You know, there's a bit of pain, there's an ache, there's a sort of fuzziness in my head, there's a expansiveness, there's a sort of dropping down quality. You know, I notice I can, I'm aware of some parts of my body, but not others. Yeah, um, you know, it can be simple things like I've got a slightly dry mouth right now. Yeah, or it could be things that are really profound that really are about my life. You know. Yeah, notice your body, and and some you can use colours, you can use arrows. You know, there's lots of things you can do. There's again, there's no um, requirements there, but we're looking at how you live as a body, the life of the body, rather than you know how big your feet are or how tall you are. Yeah. So um, if you want to do those as opening exercises, you could always do them again at the end of the course as well. So um, hopefully this will, if nothing else, get you kind of thinking, get you engaged with the body as we move into the course. And there's a few more. If, if, you haven't, if you haven't got them yet, then my two books, the beginning chapters, there's like a bunch of opening exercises. If you want more detail, you can, can look in both books, actually have it in, uh, particularly the coaches one. So uh, if you want a few more sort of inquiries, if you can't wait for the course to begin, <laughs> then uh, have a look in the first couple of chapters there.